Please stand. We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts and to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love and to add our best wishes to the words that shall unite Jesse and Megan in marriage. Who gives Megan this day to Jesse? Her mom and I. Closer, you guys. I'm not close. No, no. Yeah. Just a little, little, little bit close. A little bit close. That way you <laughs> There you go. You guys are good. All right. It's for the photo ops. Let me put a sticker Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Today we have come to witness the joining of these two lives. Oh, you may be seated. <laughs> Today we have come together to witness the joining of these two lives. For them, out of the routine of the ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They met each other, they fell in love, and they are finalizing it with their wedding. A good marriage must be created. It is never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you every day. And it is not just marrying the right person, but it's being the right partner. I'm going to read from the Bible in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 22 through 30. Verse 22, wives, submit to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, of which he is our Savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. It's when you all shift in your chairs and get real uncomfortable. <laughs> right? But now here's the hard part, right? This is for Jesse. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy cleansing her in the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. Who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their body just as Christ does the church, for we are all members of his body. And everybody can say amen. amen. Especially you men. <laughs> Do you have your vows? Do you have your vows? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, I'll call. Okay. So now we're going to exchange vows. <laughs> Jesse, you take Megan to be your wife, your partner in life, and your one true love. Will you cherish her friendship and love her today, tomorrow, and forever? Do you promise to love, honor, and cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others, and holding only unto her? I do. Megan, do you take Jesse to be your husband, your partner in life, and your one true love? Will you cherish his friendship and love him today, tomorrow, and forever? Do you promise to love, honor, and cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others, and holding only unto him? I do. And Megan also has something she wants to read. Jesse, you are not only my love, but my best friend. Even when friendships have failed and jobs have, been, have not felt right, you have encouraged me to keep trying and would do anything to cheer me up. I love your lap and your patience when I'm not so patient and stressed. His willingness to help me heal and to help me through my mental and my physical pain. He has shown me love like none other. You don't let things get you down and you forgive without thought. Jesse, 
I vow to always be by your side and try not to hog blankets even when you hog them back <laughs> from me. I vow to be the best version of myself even in days that I'm in pain and want to cry and sleep the day away. I vow to be your best cheerleader and support to be patient even when you're having an off day. I look forward to all of the fun days ahead, even if it's just laughing in your truck and laughing even more when you do thumb things like choke on boba because <laughs> we sipped it too fast. This is for better or for worse. I know it is one we will conquer anything that tries to harm our love and our bond. I am so excited for our future, the children we have, and the memories we make. For as long as we both shall live, I will always love you to the moon and back. Okay, now we're gonna exchange rings. So you can go ahead and give the ring. Give her. Okay, Jesse. As soon as you get your ring open there. <laughs> so, rings are a symbol of a of a covenant that we have with each other when we marry somebody, and so it's an unbroken circle that shows people that we we love unconditionally and continually no matter what unbroken and so this is going to signify the union of their marriage so as you place the uh ring on megan's finger i want you to repeat after me megan with this this ring is my sacred gift megan go ahead megan, go ahead go ahead with this ring is my sacred gift okay with my promise that i will always love you with my promise that I always love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And with this ring. And with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And you're gonna place your ring on Jesse's finger. And repeat after me. Okay. Jesse, this ring is my sacred gift. Jesse, this ring is my sacred gift. With my promise that I will always love you. With my promise that I will always love you. Cherish you cherish you and honor you and honor you all the days of my life all the days of my life and with this ring and with this ring i thee wed i thee wed will you bow your heads as we pray father i just thank you for this day i thank you for this uh beautiful weather that we have that we're able to come together and experience and witness this moment where two people are going to become one where two separate lives become one life unified together in front of all their family and all their friends. God, I just pray that as we go forward and as Megan and Jesse go forward into their life, God, that we will encourage them, we will pray for them, and we will bless them and provide for them in ways whenever they need it from us. And I ask that you would provide for them in ways that they need you, our Father in heaven, to provide for them. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said amen. 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 By the power vested in me, by the state of Michigan, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs>